Generic greetings and welcome to Railroads once again. Today's beverage is <sighs> ginger beer. Lovely. So I'm going to do something that I don't think has been done previously here and that is knock the difficulty level up on the game to the maximum setting and I've never tried it um, at all. <laughs> I've tried the routing difficulty on hard but not the standard difficulty level for starting cash and things like that so I'll go through them again. We're going to do the Great Britain map by the way. Um, we're going to go with the Robber Baron difficulty level. Now the standard difficulty level is Investor and that gives you in this case half a million quid. You have half of your own stock and all of the train track maintenance and delivery revenues are on standard so you will pay the stock cost for your track and things like that whereas if you knock it up to the robber baron difficulty which is the highest setting in the game you start with less than half of the uh, starting cash that you would normally start with you only own three out of your total of 10 shares track cost is 40 percent higher as is the train cost and maintenance and finally on top of all of that you earn 20 percent less money for stuff you deliver so not an ideal situation, as you uh, would probably agree with. Um, the difficulty level for routing is something I've touched on as well. The standard one we go with is medium. Now, um, that is not entirely accurate because it does break the laws of physics when it wants to so if you have it on easy what happens is trains will move through each other no problem so if you've got a train if you've got one track and two trains on it and they're sort of going towards each other they won't collide and go kaboom eh? because that just isn't in the game but uh, what will happen is the one with the most priority will just go straight through the other one the other one will stop and then the, the, the one with the most priority will just go straight through a choo choo ghost train no problem whatsoever the medium difficulty it will obey the laws of physics for a while so they will if there's two trains Trains coming along, they'll stop and look at each other and go, you alright? Yeah. So, uh, w w how are we going to resolve this situation? <sighs> Don't know, really. Uh, could have a could have a beverage for a while and see what happens. Hmm. Why not? And then eventually one of them will just go, ah, sack it, I'm driving through you. And then just go choo-choo and then go through the other one. And the reason we keep it on that difficulty is because the game is a bit glitchy at times and can um, often break, <laughs> to be quite honest. And what will happen is um, it'll you'll have multiple tracks and then for some reason it'll put the same train on uh, put two trains on the same track and then after a while it'll just go uh, and then fix itself because routing difficulty so that's why we've normally stuck with medium however we're going to go with hard this time and that means if there's any other train blocking the track it will not move and we'll sit there forever and I'm probably going to lose this game, so let's just crack on and see how this works out. So I've started in Norwich, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, we have a we have a clothing factory here, so it turns hide into clothing, and we can see that down here we actually have a sheep farm. So actually, what we'll do straight away, we'll have our track go along here, and oh my good grief, look at that! That there, just that little bit, is um, enough to only put me on nineteen thousand. That is how expensive these tr these these things are, um, and also how much of a problem it's going to cause me, because I am now in debt. I've literally made that little tiny bit of track there, this little stretch, and I'm nine thousand seven hundred pounds in debt. Uh, that's not good. So we've got George Hudson, we've got Isenbard, Kingdom of Brunel, and Jim Hill, which I've just noticed actually starts with three stock themselves anyway. So that means that we're all on the same difficulty. That does sort of level the playing field. Okay, that's not too bad. What I'm going to do is probably regret this decision later on, but for now I'm going to sell some of my stock there and I'm going to buy out my textile mill, or at least hope to buy out my textile mill, because I really need to make a lot of cash and I need to make it quickly. You can see uh, other people are already selling their stock, which is mm, fine. It um, means I can buy theirs if I have the cash, but obviously I don't. Um, I think that was the most pointless sentence ever spoken. <laughs> I could do this if I could, but I can't. Yeah, thanks for that information. That's really, really useful. Anyway, uh, I'm trying to buy this out because it gives me a boatload of cash when uh, we're going to be moving these back and forward on our choo-choo train. We have bought that out. That is fine. I will buy a bit more of my stock there. And then finally, this is going to uh, come in. Come on. Choo-choo-choo. And it'll drop off all of that wool. And actually, look at that. That's got six hides now and 11 nitrates. Nitrates can be taken here. Oh no, sorry, it can't. Uh, Mayor of Peterborough solicits railway, which is where? Uh, 
It's somewhere. Oh, I'll check later. Anyway, let's see our let's see who who we've got around. So George Hudson is on the top left, sort of North Wales. We've got oh oh we've got uh, Jim Hill in London, and Ipswich now. Wow, he's really expanded. And then near Portsmouth, Salisbury and stuff. We've got uh, Brunel. So. Uh, what do I need to do? Well, what's the best thing for me to do is probably, probably for a start, alter this train. Because we've got so much stuff to pick up, we can. And then, do we want to have passengers going from Norwich to Ipswich? It probably would be worth it, so let's go double track. To there. I mean, that just cost me 60,000. Good grief. Am I even going to get to Norwich? Probably not. I'll, oh, I can. I'm just going to have to carve through here. No, no. I, I, would, I would actually have to sell more of my own stock. Jim Hill's just set a new speed record. I'm going to knock the speed up because, quite frankly, we'll be here all day. Yeah, I'm knocking the speed up so we can uh, get that in there. That'll be a decent amount of money. And obviously, clothing can go from Norwich to Ipswich when it gets bigger. And if we need to, we can... Uh, go a bit further. The 222 is now available. There you go. Very, very nice looking train. Um, and we'll go into Ipswich here. We'll have a one of those. And we'll have trains going back and forward. Not going to wait until full because Ipswich is already being serviced by, um, by Jim Hill. Good grief. George Hutchins set a new speed record. Have you noticed how much they're expanding here? Jim Hill is massively expanding. Ah! I'm not entirely sure. Do this actually that's the question. That's that's a that's a thing. Are they 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 started with only three of their own stock, but are they still um limited to the amount of money they get from cargo? Like is it eighty percent like mine is or is it not? Mm, I don't know. Either way, there is some money from passengers, that's pretty good. I mean, we're still in debt, but whatever. Uh, we've still got clothing as well in Norwich, so what we need to do is take it over to Ipswich, but Ipswich needs to be slightly bigger. Ipswich is currently just a town, as you can see, um, so it doesn't demand clothing yet. They're all just walking around in the buff. And in the nud, uh, Lincoln turns... Oh, that turns food. Uh, it, turns, um, it turns beef, cattle, into food eating, so... Hmm. There's a 25% cheaper to build rails. That would be very good if I had that. Um, I'm going to keep bidding until, quite honestly, I'm out of cash. Although, looks like Jim is really going overboard here. See, 25% cheaper to build rails. All that's done now is make it so uh, I I'm only paying I'm only paying uh, what 15%. More than what I should do normally? <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> right, so. Um, Ipswich still not grown. It looks like Jim is really... Going hard on this... Uh, on his empire here. Look at this, it's huge. Um, I probably want to go... Oh, Peterborough has... If you deliver eight nitrates there... You gain a decent amount of money. Well, the thing is, I'm going to have rails go through this way anyway, through the cattle. So I do need to go there, and I do have nitrates. So what I might do is go for a double track on this side. Like so. I'm not going to get there. Um, because look, the, look, the, look at the cost of it. Drive through that, sell some of my stock, um, and go around to there. Textile uh, demands fault as households crochet themselves new duds. Cool. So the thing that I was making is now not worth a lot. Dandy. Right, okay, so from this place, let's have a train going back and forward carrying passengers. And then what we'll want is to increase the track down to there and then take the nitrates. In fact, quite honestly, it's probably the best way of doing it anyway. Um, neither of these require f uh, clothing yet, which is a bit of an issue. 
I was going to say, wow, that train's really fast, but it's not really fast. It's just uh, we've got the thing on the highest difficulty. So I can't sell any more of my stock because, quite frankly, I don't have any. Um, once it's once this train's in, we'll make a fair amount of money, though. You can see we're getting a decent amount of money from that. Let's just have a quick look at our overall profit margins. Uh, no. It's on finance. Not that one. Clicky, that's the one. Profit. That's good. That's profit. And that's profit. Okay, so we're in profit. And there's my new speed rocket, apparently. Uh, speed rocket? Speed record. Um, and we'll double track all the way to there. Okay, so that's been double tracked. Um, what we'll do is have that altered. Modify the root. So we will... Oh, actually we can clear all these. Clear these, close these. Delete them all. So we start there. Uh, hang on. Yes, yeah, start there, pick up all the fertilizer, wait until full, go there, clear it off, get some passengers, drop it off there, and then clear the car. Yeah, so that should work. So let's just see if what I've said is, ooh, accurate. So it goes to Peterborough, it's going to take three passengers, two mail cars, it's going to take it to Norwich, It'll then drop these off, clear the car, drop them off, yep, clear the car, yes, then go to the sheep farm, pick up the nitrates, there's the 42 Iron Duke, big ass wheel, um, and 25% passenger delivery, but honest, that's good. Peterborough uh, has just given George Hudson a massive, uh, lot, a massive pile of cash because um, he's done the Peterborough thing before me. Dandy. Anyway. Um, looks like they're trying to get this passenger delivery bonus. I don't have the money for that. I have a problem here. My stock's being bought out by people. And that's bad. Um, quite frankly, it's uh, not going too well here. But we will choo-choo chew, chew on, nonetheless. Uh, there's loads of money because of that. Um, delivery from the sheep farm. This one is still going along, as you can see. This is all of the nitrates. And that'll then go over to Peterborough. Um, I rule oh, good grief. Jim Hill is just constantly buying my stock. That's bad. Mayor of Birmingham solicits railway. Birmingham. There it is. Can't believe nobody's actually went over there. It doesn't help that I've started in a terrible place. Oh my good grief. Most my stock is. I oh my yeah. I think this is a game over almost immediately. One, two, three, four. Yeah, they, they own... 60% of my stock is owned by other people. And I can't... I don't even have the money to buy it. Look at that. I'm going to get bought out. <laughs> this is... Um, embarrassing. And why am I not making any cash at all? That's not making any profit. It's just... Yeah... Going along, that's making profit, and that's profit as well. More profit. It's going to cost half a million to buy one piece of my own stock. So I, qu I quite simply cannot afford it. <laughs> um, Jim Hill owns three of his own stock, and George owns one of it. Brunel owns most of his stock. It didn't help that I was in a terrible position and only have... That there. Oh, the sheep farm's not too bad. But Brunel's been with coal and steel and a bit of food. Obviously, starting near London with all of the other stuff around it, all the boroughs and stuff is good because you gain. Yeah. You gain um, a good amount of passengers going back and forward. And also, you've got other stuff there as well. So that still demands food. That one should have been dropped off, and yes, it has now got. Um, medicine and medicine you can take to big cities so you got London uh, we could go to oh, Birmingham doesn't require medicine oh no you need a hospital you need a hospital and um, where is the nearest hospital it is clicky on the hospital it is um, there so actually that's not too bad for us because we can just do this um, probably there and then down to there I'm trying to make it not be a uh, not have a bridge there, but it looks like we can't alter that. 
So that, I will alter that again. Clear that. Pick up three, yeah, we'll call it that many. We'll have um, four medicine. Go to Norwich. Take some cars and passengers and mail. Hang on, not was Ipswich. If Super Sheep Farm, from there to there, delete that. So it takes up there, then to there, then to there, clear the car, that, then to there, clear the car, job done. That works. No, it doesn't. Why does that not work? Why does that not work? Let's o press OK to confirm route, but it won't allow me to. Why not? Um, oh, because it technically doesn't connect up. That and that is now connected. So, if I alter that again, not that I think there's going to be any point in this because I've almost lost, but at least we weren't out trying to do the right thing. Um, pick that up. Go up here, pick up the medicine. I'm not going to pick up it all. Clear that. Couple of cars there. Go there. No, I'm going to delete that one. It's there first. Then there. Then clear it. Yeah. So it takes the nitrates all the way to Peterborough. Then medicine over to Ipswich. And then passengers from Ipswich down to Norwich. And then back over to the sheep farms. That is, yes, quite a quite a convoluted route right so all my stock is now owned by other people um which is generally considered to be bad uh we now however have the ability to if we alter this train i can't click on that train it won't let me click on the train there we go i'm altering that train because we've got lots of clothing um and then drop it off there might as well To be honest, we might as well just do that. No, no. It's all like that. There we go. Um, do we need... All right, do we really need to remove them cars? I don't know. Either way, we've... Yeah, all of our stock is owned by other people. This is bad. Um, however, because it's owned by two companies, 60% uh, Jim Hill, 40% Brunel, neither of them have bought me out entirely. So I'm owned by other people, but I'm still an independent entity for the time being until one of them buys me out and then that's just classed as you've lost, mate. So, um, this one is going to now be carrying people. Ooh, there's the 060DX goods. Big train, prepares freight as well. So what we're going to do, spend money, get some trains. Because quite frankly... This train is just better. And we've only got three trains, so we might as well update all of the trains. There we go. So, I'm now taking... That's not clothing, that's bobbins and stuff on the back. That's taking all of that tape switch. So that should give us a fair bit of cash. Yeah, that's not too bad. That's a lot of money, in fact. Right. So we can now think about it would be nice to buy that chemical plant yeah go on I'll try and buy it although this is where ah yes I've been on the other side of this oh my good grief I've been on the other side of this when I've got loads of cash and I can just essentially troll and just go you know what I don't even want it but I've got so much money I can buy it and yeah they're gonna make me pay half a million or quarter of a million quid for that thing Dandy. Um, this is where we've got root and revel difficulties. Um, where is that train going? It's going to Norwich Terminal. Okay, so I'm going to have to double track to here. And then what I'm going to have to do is do that. And then it should go. Is it going to go? No, it's not going to go. That is why I generally, for the most part, I always go with the... Um, 
the medium difficulty, because that should be able to go now. That should be able to go that way. Um, oh, no, it can't. It cannot do it that way, because it needs to get on to the other side. So the only way to fix it is to do that, and that should fix the problem. No, that has not fixed the problem. Why has it not fixed the problem? This is trying to get eventually to here, the sheep farm. So that will that fix the problem? Yes, it will fix the problem. Okay. And, um, yeah. That's a nightmare. <laughs> that is a nightmare. Um, looks like Chelmsford has grown quite big. So that's now going back and forward in a... God, it's all over the place, isn't it? Look at it. It's a proper state to this thing. But the rooting's now... Well, it's done. Um, I wouldn't say it's ideal, but it's certainly done. Right, so um, we still haven't utilised these cattle... Uh, the farms, the cattle farms. So what I'll do is I'll... Spur off and go around over to Lincoln... Apparently textiles now is even worse. Yeah, this is definitely the hardest game we've had because of, well, mainly the difficulty that we set it at, but also the um, the random events that we've had. So, um, I do need to go up there for this cattle. But what I'll do is I'll spur it there and then go up for the cattle. There we go. And then I need 25,000 for the... Yeah. For the stock. Yeah. So four of those go back, clear it, and then come back because that's a moderate uphill, I believe. Moderate grade. Yeah. So, we can't do that. For this one, what we'd have to do... we Well, we could do it two ways. We can either um, have a single track going in here, through Peterborough, and then up into Lincoln. Could do that. Or, what we could do is have a track spurring off here, going through and down. So, that would be a tunnel for a start off, and then we'd have to click onto that and then click onto that. That's just not going to happen, because that's too expensive. But we are now making food in Lincoln. I really, really, really do want to buy that stockyard, but I don't have the cash at all. Um, there's another train, the 422 Sterling. Nice green train. Just keep an eye on the Peterborough Farms. Just to see how much it's generating. Yeah, it's not generating much. Okay. So what I'll do, I will have a double track here like that we'll have a one of those there and it's only gone on that side that's problematic am I, am I gonna have to double track at this side as well no that that technically should be okay I should be able to utilize the other one let me just spin it around so I can click on that bit of track there we go I should be able to Go there. Either way, that's going to have to come along and click on there. Big ass tunnel. But looks cool. And that's what we're here for, obviously. Um, that's the wrong one. There. And then there. Alright. Yeah, it's going on the other side. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So that's a lot of food in Lincoln. Um, no medicine. Um, that converts medicine, and we're not taking enough medicine, so we're going to alter that car. Wait until full. Yeah, done. So that's deleting all of the stuff on the back. Uh, deleting? It's uh, removing all of the um, bits on the back. I'm going to start upgrading this station in Peterborough. Oh, that's a big city now. It requires uh, arms as well. Uh, we want a terminal, but it is expensive, but well, we've got it now. And then over in... Ipswich, which is also grown very, very large. We'll have a station, then a terminal. Um, ah, gigantic looms grow 
consumer confidence. Wool prices on the rise. That's good because I've got some uh, wool. Uh, my stock overall, sorry, my net worth is 3 million. Uh, the next highest is just under 12. <laughs> We've also had trains and mobile for quite some time. Ah, yes, that is trying to go on this bit, is it? Okay, so the only way to fix that is to do this. Nope, that's not going to work. Mm, and that's not going to work either because... Oh, problems. Dandy. So we'll have to have that going to that. And now it'll go. 3 to 1 activate. There we go. Right. We should really double track this, which is something I'm going to do now. Then delete that. Oh, I can't. I'll have to connect up that bit to that bit. Ooh, good grief. That's some problem. Yep, that's too sharp. I know the turn's too sharp. It clearly is too sharp, but you're broken. That's why it's not doing the thing that I want it to do. Um, we could delete that section because um, that's now the proper section. And that can go onto there. And then, quite frankly, I think we can just, once it's gone through there, delete that bit. There we go. So that's now got a, a bit up for itself. So that's okay. Um, I'm going to try and buy the stockyard. I don't think this is going to go too well. Hopefully, George and the others and Jim and all that bid outbid themselves on that. No. I thought they were going to bid loads of cash monies for the uh, for that train thing. But it, it just isn't happened it isn't happened it hasn't happened um already the stock yards about 150,000 more than I'd like but we've got it so that's okay we do own the chemical plant there we don't own the hospital here but I'm going to buy it out um or at least try to but there's the problem I don't have the cash to buy it anymore because I went in oh now I do because I've just delivered loads of stuff um oh my good grief all bidding furiously. Go away, Brunel. Go and build a bridge or a ship or something. Uh, or a tunnel or a railway. He built a lot of things, Brunel. I mean, not personally. I don't think he, you know, laid the sleepers himself, but, you know, he did a bit of work. Designed one or two things. <laughs> um, and smoked 40 cigars a day, apparently, which is obviously healthy um let's go do we go to that cattle yard for the the manchester cattle yard we've also got the lincoln sheep farm so we could we could easily take advantage of that since uh we've got loads of nitrates wait until full drop it off there um because this does have yes it does i was gonna say does it have a chemical plant yes it does have a chemical plant actually um why on earth nobody else has uh went for that because there's a there's a nottingham sheep farm there which apparently has a funicular railway on it <clears throat> that's some gradient isn't it that is a bit of that's some grid <laughs> good grief anyway um so probably want to buy the chemical plant out if I start now, probably not going to go too well. And then, ideally, I'd like to take the the what you call it somewhere, the uh, the medicine, but we just don't have it. Right, let's start buying the chemical plant. This is going to be fairly contested, I believe. Oh God, fashion up and down, up and down all the time. So, it's me making not as much money again. Look at that. Norwich has really grown up, hasn't it? Uh, looks like I've got that at a, just a snip over too expensive. Um, so, we need to take... Uh, we, we could we could just still do more mail and passengers back and forward, but uh, we'll see. Um, looks like there's nothing being stuck as of late, although what on earth is going on there? I have no idea. That's problematic. But, what I'm going to do... I'm actually going to leave it there uh, for this episode. Um, I, I say this episode as if it's a massive series. It's not, but uh, it's going to be a two-parter. Simply because we're cracking on, and I don't think, <laughs> touch wood, they're in danger of lo losing immediately. So I'd rather not this turn into a 50-minute air and, you know, lose at the end. But, you know, a couple of episodes, bite size and all of that. Um, we'll leave it there. Next episode, we'll see where we can go. I think what we'll do is... I don't know, there's still clothing to be 
move back and forward. We might go for another track. Well, we should we should have already had another track in Ipswich. So what we'll do, we'll double we'll double track Ipswich all the way into here. And then we will have passengers just going back and forward and then one just for clothing. Because I think that is probably the load balance there. Yeah. Either way, let's see how it goes and hopefully I will uh, not be bought out immediately at the start of next episode, but hey-ho, we'll see how that one goes. Don't think I'm going to win this, just pointing that out now. I just I just think it's far too... It's beyond scope of uh, <laughs> what we're going to be able to achieve here. I'm, I've just just under, just under over 4 million net worth, and the next highest is 13, then 16, and then 16, that one nearly 17. So, yeah, hotly contested. We'll see how it goes. As always, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.